Well, hello, welcome to a reading through of one of the speeches of Lysias. And uh, this one is on the murder of Eratosthenes. And this is a defence. Lysias was a speech writer, very popular in the early 4th century. This particular speech was delivered by Euphiletus, who hires Lysias to write the speech, but it was delivered by Euphiletus, and he was charged with the murder of the young Eratosthenes. Philetus claims that he killed the young man when he caught him in bed with his wife. And he's going to outline some of the details of all that in the speech. The date and outcome of the speech are sadly unknown, so we don't know whether he got off or not. The case was held at the court of Delphinium near the Acropolis where such murder trials were held and the deceased's relatives have made the prosecution claiming that Euphiletus lured Eratosthenes to his house and killed him for other unspecified reasons. So Euphiletus has to try and prove that in fact there were no other reasons for him to kill Eratosthenes except for the fact that he was in bed with his wife and that that in Athenian law is perfectly allowable. So the first five sections of this, this so-called this introduction, uh, it has the technical name of, of a prothesis. And in the first uh, section, the the uh, speaker has to make himself known to the uh, jury and also try and um, win them over and try and get them to be to uh, accept the things that he's saying and to get them on side. And that's uh, what we'll see as we read through it. I'm going to go through it fairly slowly. The Greek of the first, first section is uh, slightly harder and then you'll see it gets a bit easier once we get to the next sections after the prothesis. So they always generally begin with a direct um, speech to the jury about the case. And so he says here, Peri polu an poi simen o andres to toi utus huma semoi dikastas peri tutu tu pragmatos genestai. Hoi oipe an humin autois e e te toi auta peponthotes. So this is, um, I'm going to do this fairly slowly. So this is an optative here, a middle optative from apoyo in the middle to I think. So, and peripolu is adverbial here. Uh, it's re it, um, importantly or highly. So he says here with the optative with an, so I would think very much, so I would think it very highly, I would esteem it very highly, O Andres, O gentlemen of the jury, um, for, now the tot is going with the genestai, it's an articular infinitive. So it's something like, and the subject of it is humas. Uh, so it's something like, uh, for you, the dicastas, the jurors, that you might be, that's the genestai, uh, thus to me, in other words, so disposed towards me regarding this matter, and then correlative with the toi utus is the hoi, hoi pair, uh, just as indeed uh, we get another optative here. You would be to yourselves, if you had a no, uh, participle here, if you had suffered such things or experienced such things. This is from Pasco. Peponza is the perfect, and this is a perfect participle. 
So just do that a bit again. So um, I would would esteem it very highly, O oh gentlemen of the jury, for you, the jurors, to be so disposed to me regarding this matter. Just it's almost just as if, but uh, just as you would be, with an arm there to yourselves, so again optative with an, as you would be to yourselves had you experienced such things. Yuga oid hoti, this is quite a standard stock phrase in a lot of these speeches, uh, so it's simply I know well that. Uh, a, ten au ten gnomain periton alone ekoiti Hain pe peri humon autone, uk anoye hostis uk epitois gegene menois, agonat toye, alapantesan peri tone ta toy alta, epite juontone tas semias micras hegoiste. So I know well that uh, if Ekoite, we get lots of these optatives here. So if you were to have the same opinion, the same viewpoint regarding others, the very one which, this is agreeing back with Gnomain, the very one which you would have understood concerning in regard to yourselves, Uk oye hostis an. So there would not be anyone who would not be agonactoye is again optative from agonactio. It means to be irritated, annoyed, perhaps feel indignation here. So there wouldn't be anyone who did not feel indignation epi uh, at the things which had have happened. So we get a perfect, uh, we get a perfect participle here in the dative. So just to, I'll just finish this off. Uh, and all, everyone. Now the main verb is down here again in the optative with an. Everyone would regard uh, the same as the penalties uh, regarding the ones who. Uh, pursuing such actions to be mikras, well, perhaps um, too lenient or for mikras, too, it just means small, but perhaps lenient. So just to do that a bit, a bit again, it's quite a difficult section. So for I know that if you had the same opinion uh, regarding um, other people, which that, that opinion which you have regarding yourselves, there would not be anyone who would not be uh, irritated or feel indignation at the things which have taken place, but that all would think that the penalties regarding those who are pursuing such actions uh, as being too lenient. Now he may be referring, I don't think he's referring here to Eratosthenes because the penalty Eratosthenes suffered was death. Uh, I think he may be saying here that he's referring to the relatives who are taking him to court that if of course he's found innocent then they suffer uh, some kind of fine and he's saying that uh, you would undoubtedly regard this as this fine for them as being too lenient. I think that's possibly what the meaning is here. Tauta uk an aa monon pa hem humin hutos egnos mena al en hapase te heladi. Now, this is again a slightly tricky here. Um, the egnos mena is probably something like recognized and then the hutos as such. So, uh, yep, so for these things would not only be recognized as such 
parahumin amongst you, that is, it's almost in your circle, parahumin. So these things would, would, would not only be recognised as such in your circle or with you, but in all of Greece. Peritutu to ga monu to adikematos kai en demokratia kai oligarchia he aute timoria tois asthenes ta tois pros tus tamegis ta dunamenus apodedetai hostiton keriston turnauton tunkanein to beltisto. So um, the we've got to look ahead a little bit, I think. So um, this same Timoria, this is the subject here. This same requital or revenge, perhaps, regarding uh, this uh, wrongdoing alone, both in a, in democracy and in oligarchy. Apodidatai has been given, has been meted, or has been um, handed out um, for the weakest, uh, well, for the weakest people. Pros, I think, here is against or in comparison with those, literally those um, who have been able to do the greatest things, so those who have the greatest power, so that the keriston, so that the most humble or the lowliest, literally the worst, uh, to meet, so it's hosty plus infinitive, so with the result that the lowliest, the most humble, meet with, and then takes a genitive, tone, our tone, the same outcome as the, well, literally the best, perhaps the most eminent. So the point he's making here is that everywhere in Greece, both in democracies and in oligarchies, this sort of treatment, this thing which I have done, the punishment which is meted out for uh, uh, in this circumstance, uh, is it, it, it is given, or the, the right to do this is given to the, the lowliest of the citizens, uh, against the most powerful ones. Hutos o Andres tu ten ten hubrin hapantes anthropoi dinotaten heguntai. Uh, thus, O oh, gentlemen of the jury, uh, all men heguntai regard tu ten ten hubrin this act of uh, well, this violent act. Hubris is a very funny word in Greek, meaning its meaning changes and varies depending on the period. Um, it can just mean insult, insulting, arrogant behaviour. Uh, it can also involve violent behaviour, and that's what he means here, I think. So we, they would regard this violent behaviour, that is, um, sleeping with his wife, to be denotatein, most terrible. Perimenun to Megethus tes semias hapantes humas nomisdo ten autain di anoyen ekein, kai udinahutes oligoros dia casei, hostis oyatai dein sungnomes tunkanein a micras semios axius hegatai. Tus tone toyauto ergon itius. Uh, now, menun is a nice combination of particles here. It's used to uh, sort of move the argument along a little bit. So it's just sort of therefore or hence. Uh, so slightly, slightly stronger than just un. Uh, so I. So regarding therefore. The magnitude of the Samia, uh, of the penalty, I would regard 
all of you, or I would think, all of you, echoing to have, ten auten de annoyan, the same thought. And now this is a slightly awkward phrase here, kai udenahutos oligoros dia case thy. It's um it's something like um dia case thy is to be in a position um and the oligoros is an adverb here, meaning little. Uh, so it's something like, uh, and nobody to be, well, to perhaps to be so casual in their attitude, as one translation says, uh, or to be disposed to take things lightly. So I think you all have the same opinion, and that no one would be would be so um, disposed in their attitude to take things lightly who thinks uh, that there is need this is from day this is now the infinitive from day it is necessary that there was there was need uh, 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 for those responsible for such deeds Sunkhanain to meet with, and it takes a genitive, to meet with pardon, sungnome. This word actually continues on into modern Greek. Signomi in modern Greek means I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, anyway, so who knows, uh, sorry, who thinks that uh, those responsible for such acts uh, are to meet with that they ought to meet with pardon or um, uh, hang on no, there's a I should have taken the first bit first here uh, sorry so there is no one who is so casual in their attitude who thinks there is need to meet with pardon or thinks that those responsible for such actions to be worthy of mikras, a lenient, say mere, uh, punishment or penalty, perhaps, say mere. You've got to take the, there's two different uh, clauses here, you have to take them separately. So, sorry, just to do that very quickly again. So, there is no one who is, who is uh, so casually disposed who thinks that there is need um, to meet with pardon or thinks that those responsible for such works understand to be worthy of lenient penalty. Hegumai de o Andres tu tomedain epidexai hos Emoi kuen eratosthenes ten gunaika ten emain kai ekenein te diaptheri kai tus paidos paidas tus emus eiskune kai eme auton hubrisen eis ten oikian ten emain es eon. And I'll just pause at the comma because it's going to go to a new page in a second. So, for I think, O oh gentlemen, Dane, I think it to be necessary for me, epidexi from epidecnumi, to demonstrate this, that Eratosthenes Emoikuen committed adultery with my wife, Tegunaika Tainemain, uh, and now we get we get uh, Kai and Te and lots of Kai's here. So he did that, and he corrupted, literally destroyed, but it has more the sense of corrupt here, which is often a meaning for Diaphthero. He corrupted her, and he brought shame upon my children. Now, that simply means that uh, because he's having an affair with the wife, it brings doubt upon the children's um, uh, on who the, the ch children's father is. Now that's very important because the citizenship in Athens depended very much on who your parents were and knowing who your parents were. So by having an affair with his wife, it casts doubt upon um, who is the father of the children. 
so he, so he claims in his speech here. So he brought shame upon my children and hubrisen um, eme auton, and he acted violently against me myself. Ace eon is a participle, uh, from, it's the Amy Ibo, this is the participle, entering into my house. Ute ekthra emoi kayakena ude mea ein plain. I'm going to go to the new page, but so neither understand what, well, there was here. So neither was there. Uh, um, now, of course, double negatives don't cancel in Greek. So neither was there any uh, enmity or hatred for me and for him. So between the two of us, plain to taste, except for this matter. Uti crematon henica epraxa tauta, hina plusies ek penetos genomai, uti alu kedus udenos plantes catatus nomus to timorias. Nor did I do these things, impresso, for the sake of money, in order that ek penetos literally out of being poor I might become rich so um, that I might become rich after being poor uh, nor uh, for this is all genitive after Henneke nor on account of any other gain curdus is genitive here from top curdos the declension neuter uh, plain except for Timorias, except for requital, except to get vengeance, kata to nomus according to the laws. Ego toinon ex arces humin hapanta epidexo ta ema tu pragmata, uden paralepon ala legon talethe. So, uh, therefore, nice toy nun, I, and it's quite emphatic, I will demonstrate, or I will explain, all of my, uh, so panta ta uh, pragmata go together, all of the affairs of myself, so all my own affairs, to you, ex arces, from the beginning. Uden paralepon, participle, leaving out nothing, ala legon, Talethe for ta alethe, but speaking true things, speaking the truth. Tutone a tutane ga em auto monain hegumai soterian, eon humine pain hapanta du ne tho ta pragmena. Um, so the last little bit here. Uh, so he's done that. So for um, I regard uh, this alone to be salvation for myself. So in other words, I regard this as my only hope. Is sort of the sense of it here. I regard this as my only hope. If um, now the dune though is a funny form here, it is an aorist passive subjunctive from dunamai. Uh, and you don't get that very commonly for this verb. It does occur elsewhere in Attic prose, but um, uh, it's not that common, I think. Uh, so, for I regard this alone to be my salvation, if uh, I might be able to speak all the, all the things which happened, I, sorry, I may be able to speak to you, panta ta pepragmana, all the things that happened. And that is the end of the first five sections, so that's the, the introduction. And I'll continue on with the, the narrative where he goes through and explains the situation in the next recording.